Hey guys, what's up? It's Miles here and welcome back to another video. So I know it's been about a week since I've uploaded so I hope I can make up for it with this video. But in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to increase the performance of your PC so that you can have a faster PC in general and boost your FPS on games if you're into that kind of stuff. So this video is mainly going to be made for people who have older PCs or really bad PCs. So essentially if your PC runs kind of like a toaster then this video will hopefully be a good video for you. If your PC still lags after this video then I can't really say much else other than to maybe invest in another computer as yours is probably getting outdated if you do have a newer computer there's a chance that you might not just have like a graphics card or something that you're missing out on so you should definitely look into that anyways before i get started i just want to say thank you guys so much for 19,000 subscribers and other than that let's get on with the video so the first thing that you're gonna want to do is open up your file explorer so you're, po you're probably just gonna see a little folder icon on the bottom like of your taskbar and once you're here just go ahead and click on this pc and in some cases it might be called my computer or my pc or something like that but once you're over here just go ahead and right click on your c drive and make sure that the little like letter right here is a C. Right click on that, click on properties, and once you're over here just click on disk cleanup. And from here it's just going to calculate how much space you'll be able to free on your computer. And once you get over here just go ahead and click on every little thing that you can. And what this is going to be doing is just going to clean up any junk files you might have. So once you're done, actually click on all the available options. As you can see, this doing this is just going to clean up almost 15 gigabytes on my computer. But from there, just go ahead and click on OK and just click on Delete Files and just give it a couple of minutes as it is going to be deleting a lot of files. But trust me, these are files that you're not really going to need because they are in like places that you wouldn't actually keep them. Basically, you're recycling bin your temporary files and stuff like that. And from there, once you've given it a few minutes to actually delete everything that was wasting space on your hard drive, what you want to do is just go ahead and click on the Tools tab and then click on Check. And once you click on this, it's going to ask you to scan your hard drive. So just go ahead and click on Scan Drive. So essentially what this is going to do is just scan your hard drive for any like system errors or anything that you might be able to fix so since i have a solid state hard drive it's just going to take about two minutes but there's a chance that yours might take a bit more and as you can see your hard drive was successfully scanned windows successfully scanned the drive and no errors were found if you did have any errors that were found it would show you them and how you can fix them so you should definitely go ahead and check this periodically throughout like maybe once a month or something like that but once you're done with that just go and click on this optimize button that's right under the check button and from here we'll actually just be able to optimize our hard drive and optimizing your hard drive is basically just defragging it and it will make your hard drive run much faster as of late windows has been trying to optimize your hard drive whenever it can but as, as you can see my last run optimization was at 10 15 which is literally yesterday at almost 24 hours ago 12 55 a.m i'm recording this at 12 17 a.m so it tries to optimize your hard drive in a time that you're not actually going to be using your computer a quick note here is that you really don't need to optimize your hard drive if you're going to be using a solid state hard drive in your computer. This is really only going to benefit your computer if you still use a mechanical hard drive as your main hard drive or for your operating system. But in reality there is no harm with going through and defragging your PC so don't worry about messing anything up. All you have to do is just click on the C drive and then just go ahead and click on optimize. I'm not going to do that right now just because mine literally ran less than 24 hours ago. Otherwise I would just go ahead and do it for the video but it's really not worth it for me. But once you're done with that just go ahead and click on close and you can go ahead and click on okay from here but essentially once you're done with all that good stuff all you have to do is just go up here and for the next step we're going to be going to our control panel so from here just type in control panel and uh, honestly you don't even have to type in all of it you can probably just type in c-o-n-t or something like that and it should show up right there so once it does show up just go ahead and click on it and once you get here you want to go to the top right where the search bar is and type in power options and uh, again same thing applies you don't even have to type in all of it you just have to type in some of it and once you see it just go ahead and click on it and from here you're going to see a choose or customize a power plan so um you're going to see three options but there's a chance that you might not see this third one which is going to be the additional plan so all you might have to do is just go and like click on this button to like minimize it or maximize it and the thing is that these two might be switched the high performance one and the power saver one more than likely your computer is already going to be on the balanced one but what you want to do is look for the high performance one and essentially this is going to be using all of your computer's resources and by doing so it's actually going to be using more energy from your computer but when it is using all of your computer's resources that aren't normally used it's going to be able to help your fps a lot and basically increase the performance of your computer which is essentially the main purpose of this video but once you have it on high performance you're basically good to go from there so from there you can just go and click on back and once you click on back what you want to do is just click the little x there basically just backspace all of what you had typed in and from there just type in advanced system settings and as you can see i only typed in the word advanced and i can see configure advanced user profile properties or view advanced system settings but what we want to do is view advanced system settings so just go and click on that and from here you want to make sure that you're on the advanced tab make sure you're in the performance box and then click on settings and from here what you want to do is click on adjust for best performance and then click on apply and then okay so what i'm going to be doing is actually just canceling it because 
because I don't really need to do that because I do have a pretty solid computer. But essentially what's going to be going on here is it's just going to be getting rid of the animations that basically make your windows look cooler but it's really not needed and it uses more power and energy and by doing so it actually makes your computer slower. So if you have an older computer, if you just change it to adjust for best performance, it's going to untick everything and your computer is going to be way faster. If your windows theme ends up looking like funny or like older or something like that or maybe your computer's older or something like that, the changing the look of your operating system is going to help your computer perform much better than it was previously. If you're really like upset about how your computer looks or something like that, all you have to do is just go back to the settings and just go ahead and click on adjust for best appearance and just click on apply and okay. But trust me, it's really not that worth it. I like to keep mine at custom. Um, I don't even know if I can go back to my custom. Hold on. And as you can see, this is what I like on my computer. I don't like some of the things that are there. So if you do want to copy what I have, go ahead. But I really do recommend just adjusting it for best performance. Click on apply and then click on okay. And the last thing that I want you guys to do is click on the windows key on your keyboard and then click on the R key. And you should see the little box that shows up kind of like the one that I'm at right here. And what you want to do is type in the percent symbol TEMP and then another percent symbol. From there, just click on OK. And once you get here, you can see a bunch of random folders and probably a couple DAT files. There's a chance that you might not see the little extension on each of the things, but you might just see the normal name for it. What you're going to do once you get here, just click on Control A and then click on the delete key. And from here, it's going to say you'll need to provide administrator permissions to delete folders. So click on do this for all current items and then click on continue. There's a chance that it might say this action cannot be completed because the folder file is currently being used by another program. So just click on do this for all current items and click on skip. And from here, it's just going to be getting rid of a bunch of junk files that you have in a computer that your computer is not really using. And it did use at one point in time, but it really hasn't ever used it again. So don't worry, you're not going to be losing anything that you actually need. And the few things that I didn't let you delete are basically things that are still being used right now. So I'm actually using the NVIDIA Corporation thing. I know that for sure. And Skype is actually open right here. So I know that all these things are actually being used, but essentially this is just going to be deleting all of your temporary files. So you might not be able to delete some of them. As I just said, your PC might still be using them, but it's going to help your PC a ton and you'll definitely be able to tell on an older machine compared to a newer one. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you aren't already, because I am on my way to 20,000 subscribers and all help is appreciated. If you didn't make it to the end of this video, I just want to say this video was meant for older computers, and computers that don't really run as well as they should, basically like a toaster or something like that. If your computer still lags after this video, I really recommend just saving up and maybe investing in a newer computer, because chances are your computer is pretty old. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.